Hello everyone, my clock is ringing currently, but I have some layout updates for everybody. Whether it is Facebook or Instagram or YouTube, I have an update for everybody. I did not do a live this weekend. I just got real tired Saturday because we went shopping and I just got real tired and didn't do it. So, Alright, well, here is first thing. It's the new decoration here. I got a bell. It's a train bell. Just a cheap $10 one I found at a, one of the shops that we went to. And then here's the layout. Here's my computer plugged into JMRI. Now, mind you that it is very messy down here right now. We're really working on this layout. We don't have everything in a proper spot yet. We have to we're going to have storage room under there, so some of the stuff will be gone under there. And, yeah. So that's the case. Um, let's just start with JMRI. So, JMRI, I have it set up. I learned how to program. Um, it, that's pretty much it. I've learned to program it. It's, it's rather simple, but... Still working on it. I want to download the CATS, the traffic control system. And I want to do that. Get that all hooked up and probably get the blocks put in, however you do it. I have to learn how to use JMRI. If anybody knows how to use JMRI, what should you do? Because I don't have the comments turned on YouTube. Maybe I'll turn them on this time. Yeah, I think if anybody knows how to use JMRI, please comment below. I need help. I am. I really need help with JMRI. <sighs> okay. Um. So this video also, I know it's two minutes in already. I just want to tell you a little bit of what I'm going to tell you about. It's going to be future updates and current updates. Okay, so now you're looking at the under side of the layout. There's all the wiring, everything. Glorious, glorious, glorious wider. wiring. All that stuff under there. It's all going to be stored because this is a platform here for storage. It's going to go under here, up there. Just once we can get these tools out of here and get the wiring fixed up. Because I'm hoping to get some signals and stuff for Christmas so we can get the wiring done here um yeah I have all kinds of wire here my father is helping me do this here's the program track by the way and then here's my 611 and if you're wondering that is a Paracon 3611 too so it's a collector's item but um yeah this is the underside full of wires we have wiring going we have we're gonna wire up smoke units we're going to do a lot. There's some homes that have smoke units, so we're going to wire those up. Um, what else should we do? We're going to make a platform for this program track here. Right here, we're thinking. We're going to put my computer. We're going to make a platform for that so we don't have to have that wire in the middle of the aisle. That's kind of that for here. And then I have goldfish box. Of stuff this is all signals etc to signals and you know grass and stuff here's un way way under it back there that rail king thing that is electric poles that we're putting on the side because there is a ton of scenery i have to go up so we're gonna put that up when we can then i have a crossing signal here that's an old one it's plastic so it's not Greatest, and I have a traffic light control, and over here I have traffic lights to go in, switches to go in. Well, I could really use those for the industries. <laughs> I have just some batteries and bells, I have all kinds of stuff under here, and then I'm really hoping I get enough. Well, just get some Christmas gifts, maybe. <laughs> I'm hoping to get just have enough money to buy some uh some signals that i need or get them from santa claus or whatever and 
you know, I want to get, see, I, I'm going to be honest with y'all here. I use O gauge signals on my HO layout. I think the HO stuff is way too small. <sighs> I'm tired. It's way too small, and I think uh, the O gauge looks way better on it. So we're going to do that. We already have some signals installed, but we're going to put sensors in so the crossings are automatic. We're going to do it, that thing with cats and JMRI to make the block signals automatic, too. And then again, I just have this whole box. 100% scenery. All scenery stuff. So that's what I have there. And then back up here to the layout. I did forget a few things when I was up here originally. Right here, I am hoping for a railroad crossing. I don't know if I'm going to put it signals, like this one. It'll If I do, it'll definitely be these kind, because I really like these kind here. If, it, if I do, it'll probably be those signals for here. And I'll just do that. But see, these switches, we're going to rearrange them a bit, I'm hoping. That's alright if we don't. Too. <clears throat> but we're going to put those on the cats and JMRI too. So we can get those hooked up. And then the switches will be automatic and stuff. I have... There's my yard. My crossovers. My mountain. Where it's going. Where my mountain is going to be. And here's a track. I don't know if you know this, but that's an upper track. It just goes through the mountain. We are going to put a coal train on that. We have a New York Central steam engine, which I will show you when I get to the workbench. We're going to put that on the top track. It's 100% Marks. All Marks Toy Company. We are going to put that on the top track. And yes, it does have a smoke unit. But we're going to run that around it. We're going to find like eight coal cars with the fake coal. Put it behind it so it looks like the coal is coming out of the mountain. And one more thing for that. I'll show you in that in a minute. But um, last thing I want to do up here besides, I know I did say I want to put some smoke units up here too in the scenery of course. I do have an American flag there too. It's a has some wires and it'll light up. I want to, I want to put approach lights into the airport. That is another plan that we're doing. They're just going to be steady. They're not going to be, you know, flashy approach lights. They're just going to be steady approach lights. Now from this angle here, when the aircraft is approaching, it will fly right, just right over that top track and then over the hangar. And touchdown at the and the touchdown zone. Now, as you can see, I have already painted my runway on the airport, and I like it. So we're gonna do that. This side approach is gonna be four lights, no decision bar. It's just gonna be uh, just a plain right right here, like a one, two, three. Four. It's going to be a four approach light. And they're going to be on wooden poles so it looks like this coming down. Boom, in the runway. And that's that. And then I want to build a helipad right there for that helicopter I have. So that's going to be that. And I know I already said if you know how to do JMRI, please tell me how to do that. But if someone just by chance knows how to use or make uh, model roads for a layout. Again, please comment below how to do that. I really just do not know. I need some help with that. So, yeah, if, we, if I can figure out that, that would be great. <laughs> and then right here, I have a signal and a helipad. It's just a pencil drawing. This signal is not going to be here in the future updates. I'll try to do one update a month, maybe, I'm thinking. It's going to be over here, where the, where the block would end, that switch track there. 
And of course, this helipad is going to be here. We're going to make a nice helipad because, you know, in our area that we live in, we have a helicopter system. I'm sure it's everywhere around the world. But we have just a helicopter system. They have a little base, an undisclosed airport, and they fly life flights to hospitals. Something going to do in that. Oh, and this tree here, too. This is still going to stay. There's nothing changing with that. <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing changing with that so there's that um, this update's getting really long it's going to get a little bit longer too but um, right here see this one here well I'll show you what it looks like but we had a little incident with this where we're trying to fix it because it kind of got broke somehow just from being just from sitting for a few months without moving because you know, when we were building this, we didn't have any of the signals put in. And it was just sitting for a month or a couple months and it kind of just got stiff. And we're trying to fix it, but it started smoking on us. And it burned the resistors. And it's totally broken. So we'll have to get a totally new motor and thing, or we'll just have to buy another signal. If anyone actually has a signal, I'd really just like to figure out how to buy it. I would really like to figure out how to buy another crossing gate signal like that. But I really do like these gate gated signals. So, yeah, I, I really, if I could find another place to put one of those gated signals, and I would. But over there, you know, I said I'm going to put a crossing gate. I don't think it's necessary to have a gate on that one. I would honestly put one here. But, you know, it's just, I don't know. So that's that. Oh, and you did see the traffic lights under there. Those traffic lights, I'm still debating where to put them. Maybe in front of the airport or over there. I'm thinking over there would be kind of cool. But we'll figure it out. We'll keep going. Then over there too, I forgot to mention. I forgot to mention a lot of things. Over there by the hangar there, there's going to be a little passenger station like this one. Or that one. And it's just going to be a passenger train on the outside track, track two. And there's one, of course, here. Now, right here, too, there's going to be a switch track here, I'm hoping. And it's just going to go into a little industry here. We're going to move that building, too, because that one can have a smoke unit. We're going to move it somewhere in the layout. We're putting it in industry there with a the siding. Now... Over there, too, I did met, forget to mention, too, over by the yard. I do want to put another crossing in. Probably just a cross buck crossing, but I don't know. And then right here will be the mountain that I'm talking about. And you know, my airport. Do some work on that. Try to put a fence around it. If not, that's fine. It'll still look realistic. So. That's uh, some of the updates. Now we're back on the other side of this. This is my little test track here. Usually, excuse me, I have an Amtrak car in here. Usually at my father's work bag. And he, sorry, I'm still tired. He does work and make sure the couplers are at the same height because we have so much problems. So many, sorry. So many problems with the coupler heights going around the layout. It's just horrendous. I did forget to mention over there too with the... You know, I was talking about the couplers. That a big reason is there's a slope over there. It's just the way our basement concrete was laid. So we're gonna have to sand down the wood a bit. See how that works. Now these two cars just have to do some work with the couplers. This is a Pennsylvania engine. It's an I think it's an F9. I have two of them. One's on the track. And one's right here. I want to figure out how in JMRI to put them in a consist. And because I have the whole Pennsylvania Railroad car set, as you can see on the whole layout, all the way up to the other engine, I have the whole setup with those two locomotives. They will look awesome. Now, these are lifelike locomotives made by lifelike, but these were originally DC locomotives. I'm pretty sure whoever bought them put a decoder in them. So, you know. So it's they're old decoders too, so it's not like it's easy. Here's my Norfolk Southern SD70 Ace unit. 
Um, I have actually tried to run it last night. I had a problem with it. It's a front wheel. This one. On both sides of the truck, I tried it both ways. Derail both times, so there's something wrong with it. Now, if you're wondering why this light cover is missing, you know, these engines, just, they sometimes just fall off and you can't find them, so. That one, unfortunately, is gone. I'll have to keep looking really hard to find it. Let's hope we can find it and put it back on the Norfolk. And here are some of my other steam engines and diesels. Here is Pure Marquette 1225. Pickle plate 765 and again just as I said with the handrails and stuff the bells fall off too. You know, we have one of them so we're looking for the other one. I really want to put it on this one, the Marquette. And as I was saying future updates too, just to mention here, there is an area you can put a smoke unit in. It's a Bachman smoke unit. So I'm hoping after the holidays maybe we can put that in. Think that. Hopefully we can put them in all of our steam engines. My Chesapeake and Ohio, which is also a Bachman too. More on that in a minute though. Now this is a GE-9 Canadian National. This one is totally fine. This is one of my go-to engines. Same with the Norfolk. They are totally go-to. This is a 1982 Heritage unit. This was my first true Heritage unit that I ever purchased. Purchased at our local train show. We have it twice a year. It's a local train show. So. Purchased this little guy here. And she's a beast. But this one, the ditch, ditch lights actually flash. And the handrails, this is a used engine, so the handrails weren't great either. But when we bought it last year, something was wrong with the decoder. We had to send it to MTH. It took them almost two months to put a new decoder in. Actually, no, three months. We almost thought they lost it and we weren't going to get it back. Because we, we emailed the guy that, because the guy that we took it, that got it from us, he is in Michigan. He, uh, this real, is, he was in Michigan. He doesn't live in Michigan. I don't know where he lives, but he, um, what I mean by Michigan is he was in Owasso. And when they made the MTH 1225 and 765, he was the one who went up and got the recordings for the whistle and stuff, which I really wish I had those MTH ones, but I don't. I'm a loser. <laughs> I wish they still continued them, but, you know, one night my father emailed them. I was wondering, could we buy one? But they, it was a limited time, so what a surprise. Anyway, here's a record player, too. Ah, here, why don't we go over this? This is a block signal, of course, but... I'm going to be honest with you, I don't really like the look of it. Thank you, Santa Claus, for getting me this. I like it, but I, you know, it's, it just wouldn't really match in the layout. Because this JMRI and stuff, it needs to have three lights. This one only has two. So, a little backstory: When we first had our first layout, we, my father and I, put one of these like a little switch under the track so when the train would pass over the signal would go off so I want to do that for the mountain track right there at the end right when it goes to the mountain I want to put that there put it somewhere and then do the same thing basically <laughs> just put the thing on it make it so it's not so heavy and it's a little lighter and I can detect lighter weights such as the coal cars or if we do have to put a weight in it that's fine so it detects the train coming over and I'll turn red and then go to green when it's not and I think that would actually look kind of neat and there's the other Pennsylvania F9 too if you're wondering so that's that part of the update welcome to my father's workbench start off right here with the light hub sets because I do use the just plug light hub I those are Almost all my LED lights, almost all my lights on that layout are that type. And 
and he's got a lot of projects we have to do. He's a very hard-working, busy man. So, we have a good E6000 glue here and some trucks, backup trucks, in case we need any. And I have just a couple of, you know, this Conrail caboose just needs a truck replace. You know, we're trying on this thing. Here, this is just a car. Amtrak car. Very nice one. This is the one we use for the default coupler height. But we're putting a light system in it. And if I like them, we have two more after this one to put in. I have a whole list of cars I need to put lights in it. So I would be very, very happy to put that in them if I could buy them. Get them for Christmas, you know? Now, oh, there's my earphones that I was looking for last night. Um... Oh, okay, this is just some more projects. See though, we do have some more lights here. Let's put the camera down. See this, this one is just full of old wires that we don't need. Now most of them are just old wires that we don't need just cut off and stuff um but you know how early I was talking about that one crossing signal now that other plastic one that cantilever that's it right there we we had it on the edge once and you know we just we bumped into it too much and broke so but we got a nice metal set now we like it so that's good um, but I was talking about the other railroad crossing, the one that we burned up. Ew, still smells horrible. Yeah. Rest in peace. Let's see, here's the, here's the little motor that drives the crossing gate. There's the signal itself. Here's the gate. <laughs> Ding 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 Oh rip. Just a real rip. It's an accident, but we're hoping we can find another one or just another system because you know we can see we save this though to salvage parts. We don't get rid of it. We salvage the parts. Oh, here's a little interesting story. Here is another control. DCC still smells horrible but this uh let me see if i can get into the back of this thing but we have had this is a bachman easy command this thing failed me a lot of people love it but just it, it failed me 100 percent i've gone through three of them we got the dcc system one day at our local train shop Plugged it in that night. We had one derailment. The whole thing burned up. Because there's a resistor in there. And if you get too many derailments, it burns up. Every derailment. Just like a plane. Every time you pressurize, it cracks form in the side. Which it's not a bad thing. It's safe because it gets inspected. But, um, you know, this is, the resistor burned up. And I've gone through three of them. The one time was the first night we got it. We had to wait two months to get another one. Then that second one, I was hoping to do something big on Christmas Day. The day I got my 765. Burned up on Christmas Day. Then this one just burned up. Oh, what was it? Last year, March. About before quarantine started. Last year, though. 2019 March. That's how we got our Digitrax system, and we love that Digitrax system. Just can't express how much I love that thing. Now here, this is just some old, that's uh, three of them, a couple of them. They're just Union Pacific copper things, they're coal things. So that's 
part of it. Oh, and if you're wondering, this is the first locomotive I ever got, the Santa Fe. It doesn't run, though, because we've dropped it a couple times. <laughs> Had a few incidents over the years. Mm -hmm. Oh, and if you're wondering, too, I think... I think this is the thing for that signal. This might be the thing for the signal, that block signal. So that would be good. Oh, that's nice. That's a wonderful sneeze. Um, that would be awesome if we can use it like that. Now here's a little bit of end scale stuff. I do have a lot of end scale stuff. I have to admit that. I have to admit I have a lot of end scale stuff. I don't run it though because half of it doesn't work. Derail. Couplers. Blah, 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 blah. So, you probably have seen this a couple times throughout the video. This is the steam engine I was talking about, the New York Central. If I didn't explain it already, it's a New York Central and we want it to run with coal cars over the mountain track. So this is it. This is the hood for it. We have the hood off because it, short it shorts out every single time we try to run. But it's 100% Mark's Toys. Now there's a hole in there. And this is die cast metal, by the way. This is the whole gear drive for it. There's the motor. We have to totally rebuild the whole thing. We're going to have to. And all the gears and then the wheel. Oh, wow. I've already been recording for a half hour now. But this is the smoke unit that I'm most excited about. I really want to see that smoke. Especially through the mountains. That will look awesome. I do have another steam engine too. A Union Pacific Prairie. Uh, it doesn't run for some reason. A lot of my stuff doesn't run for some reason. Oh, I do have another car too. It's a box car. I have a lot of box cars. Too many actually. But, um, yeah, I have a box car we're going to try to fix. Oh, here's the tender for that locomotive, too. It's very nice. Okay, so back to it. Sorry about that. Just having an interruption there. This is just a hood to an engine. It was pretty beaten up. It's just an analog, so I wouldn't really care for it. It's not It's not something big. We, the motor doesn't run. We don't even have a motor for it. But I actually have two more steam engines. This is one of them. It's a Pennsylvania Railroad. But it's in bad shape. I actually have another steam engine. It's die cast. They're both die cast, but they're in terrible shape. But maybe once we get the New York Central engine back up and running, maybe we can try to run the other ones and have them steam on the mountain. Switch them out every so often. But I really am looking forward to the New York Central running on that. Here's just some more lights and stuff for the layout. We have it over here. Some Mark stuff. Just all kinds of stuff. Transformers. You name it. Oh. There's one little interesting thing that I have. It's a little treasure of mine. Got it for 20 bucks. Don't have a motor for it or anything. But. Turntable. <laughs> We're going to have to fix it up. Hopefully in the next few years. I have a plan for it. I, I have a place to put it. I have everything in the layout already. But, yeah. By the way, in this red tub here, it's a Mark's train set. I have a couple engines, I think two, and then just a couple cars. Now over here is just some more cars. Little round table, just a display table. and then It's a spice rack. Analog with motors. I have a lot of analogs. These four here, analog. This one's a real nice one, though. I got to point this one out. I might even do a review on this. I think it's a train line or something, or I don't know. But it's a New York Central engine. But can you guess where I bought it? Big Show Railway Museum. They did it last year. There's still some for sale. If you're an HO modeler, you have to get this. They sold it at Lakeshore Railway Museum last year. 
I think they are still selling more of them, but they're just HO scale New York Central engines, and it's the real one sits at the museum. But there is a spot you can buy it for about eighty dollars, not at the museum, but just online. You can buy a decoder for it, put it in. There's a plug for it, and then it's DCC. Boom. Pretty awesome. Some more cars that need worked on. That's, that's everything. I mean, that's really it. This is the other die cast steam engine I was talking about. This is a River Rossi. It's a very nice one. I like it. So, yeah. That's pretty much it. Here's my Chesapeake in Ohio steam engine, too. It's another Bachman, but it's an old Bachman. I want to put a steam engine or smoke unit in there, but we're having troubles with it, so we got to check the wiring. If it's not the wiring, then it's the track, so. You know, <laughs> I don't know. So we'll keep working on that. I did forget one thing over there. I do have a farm that'll go over there. But not necessarily. I might have to move it and put it in the mountain, which it'll still look fine. Because remember I that turntable a few minutes ago. Here's my little spot for it. We have this little, this is our basement steps all the way up. So I'm thinking, put some store, put some of this under the layout with the storage. We'll put a siding right here, goes off. Build a table here, put some electric on it. Boom, turntable. Put some lighting in there too. It is dark and scary. So that's gonna wrap up my layout, update, everything, etc. And, you know, that's, that's my layout. That's, this is what I do. I am a layout. My, really nice. I really appreciate it. Thanks to my parents for buying half the stuff for me. <laughs> I feel spoiled rotten, but I know I'm probably not, but I don't know. So, thank you everybody for watching. And I will see you in the next video.